No, for months, Trump has been working to block House Democrats from getting testimony from any of his aides. But today, they had a closed-door interview with former Trump senior advisor and cover model for modern accomplice, Hope Hicks. <laughs> now, this, this is very personal for Trump. He's worked closely with Hicks and affectionately calls her Hopey. <laughs> I hopey she doesn't tell the truthy. <laughs> to make sure she wouldn't, White House lawyers have argued that when it comes to answering questions about her time in the White House, Hicks has absolute immunity from testifying. So if you're keeping track at home, Trump aides are more immune to justice than America is to the measles. <laughs> so far, the immunity's working because she managed to avoid being infected with accountability. Hope declined to answer questions about her work on the Trump presidential transition or in the White House, refusing to even identify the location of her West Wing office. <laughs> that must have been a weird moment. <laughs> Ms. Hicks, here is a map of the West Wing. Can you at least point to where you worked? Was it closer to Stephen Miller's terrarium or <laughs> Kellyanne Conway's haunted crawl space? <laughs> Anything? Blink. Blink. Blink, damn you. <laughs> Trump's got to be relieved that Hicks had his back today because reports are, even though they work closely together, they've drifted apart since she left the White House. And that recently, there were several times when she didn't return Trump's call, leading the president to ask his inner circle, what happened to Hope? <laughs> Sir, we've been asking that question for three years. <laughs>